from the standpoint of the benefit of medical office, I am a big believer in the power of the healthcare sector and how resilient it is. I believe that the commercial real estate investment industry does a poor job of, of understanding and quantifying risk. You know, risk is very elusive in, 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 in real estate, and it's particularly elusive um, in investment real estate. And I believe that there's a, a big arbitrage that exists there where the market has not accurately assessed the risk or the perceived risk associated with, the, with this asset class. And so I think that the investment community is starting to come around. You know, you have enough crises um, in, in what you believe to be safe. And, you know, we've had some of those um, big companies have, have gone bankrupt, you know, and, and have, have caused lease defaults. And there have been enough stories like that that have, have made people realize just because you're big in public doesn't mean that you're necessarily safer. And a lot of it has to do with what sector you're in. So I think I think that's been a huge appeal I think that it's also been, uh, from, a, from a volume standpoint, many of these are sell lease backs. And because of that, it, doesn't, it does not rely on new development. And new development's been incredibly difficult, relatively speaking, since 2008. So um, I think that's you know, the, the risk side. And then also, relatively speaking, if you compare the typical MOV um, investment deal to a quote, credit tenant, um, a restaurant, you know, a, a, a national brand, the cap rate differential is 200 basis points or more, you know, and you may not have annual increases. So it, it's just this, the X's and O's of, of risk and return, I think, is starting to, to really make sense for a lot of investors.